वेलकम टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन प्लेलिस्ट हियर इन दिस सेशन आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑप्टिकल फाइबर मोड थियरी सो इन दिस सेशन आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ मोड्स आर गेटिंग प्रोपोगेटेड इन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फील्ड्स सो बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन मोड्स लेट अस हैव ऑप्टिकल फाइबर सो हियर दिस इज व्हाट ऑप्टिकल फाइबर दैट वी हैव राइट नाउ वेयर दिस इज कोर and that core that is having refractive index n1 and above this red line and below this red line there is cladding and this cladding that is having refractive index n2 now see when we talk about modes with respect to electric field basically order of mode that is been justified by zero crossing across the guide now see guide of light that is happening through the core so whenever you give signal in this fiber that signal should propagate along the core it should not go inside of cladding so guide that will be core now when you insert light signal inside of this optical fiber number of zero crossing that will justify order of mode so to understand that if i say we have transverse electric zero te zero mode so in that case as per te zero zero explains you there will be zero crossing that will be happening along the propagation so if i draw a field then you will be finding there will see this vertical line that shows reference so there will be no crossing of that reference which will happen when mode is propagating now to understand it better let us have one more mode so we have te1 mode so te1 mode means there will be crossing which is happening once through that reference so if i start it from here you will be finding once there is zero crossing which is happening like this so as one can see zero crossing is happening over here so that is what te1 mode and to understand that better let us have one more mode that is te2 mode so in te2 mode if i start line from here two time crossing will happen with respect to reference so you will be finding it looks like this so ultimately in te0 mode there is no crossing which is happening with respect to reference in te1 mode here one can see crossing is happening once in te2 mode crossing is happening twice so that is how one can understand modes which is happening in optical fiber now let us try to understand all those basics which is there in this mode theory now see as i have told you order of mode that is based on how many time that field is crossing reference if i say reference is zero then if it is crossing once then one can say that is what te0 mode te1 mode if it is not crossing once through the core in that case one can say it is what te0 mode so ultimately here in te2 mode two time crossing is happening that one can see now let us discuss few basics regarding those mode theory now see order of mode is equal to the field crossing zero across guide that guide is core so here i have told you like see this is what core which is guide now field partially goes into cladding now see when we have plotted this field one can observe here this field is partially going into the cladding in all modes one can see this is what partially it is going into the cladding right 
so field partially goes into the cladding practically this is undesirable field which is going inside of cladding it should not be actually going inside the cladding but because of uh, pattern of mold fractional field that will always go inside of the cladding now see field harmonically varies across the guide so here one can see for t is zero mode harmonically it is happening like this for t one mode harmonically it is happening like this for t e two mode it is happening like this so field will vary harmonically across the guide now see for lower modes field are tightly concentrated at center so when we talk about lower mode lower mode means t e zero mode so for t e zero mode field is tightly concentrated at center one can see it is more concentrated at center so for higher for lower mode field is tightly concentrated at center and lightly in the cladding so one can see more field that is concentrated at center and lightly towards cladding right now see as you increase mode so for higher modes field field is highly penetrated in cladding region so as you increase mode as you increase mode you'll be finding this field that will penetrate more inside the cladding right so as you increase more number of modes this field that will go more towards cladding side and cladding mode that will be suppressed by lossy coating which is there in cover fiber covers of fiber so we can suppress cladding modes by having lossy coating of covers now see one another category that is what leaky modes and i have given numbers of those leaky modes like see if it is for 5 6 8 12 and 13 then those te mode those are leaky mode for example if i say te5 so that is leaky mode te6 so that is even leaky mode so likewise te8 te12 te13 those are leaky modes now in leaky modes one can see order is very high 5 6 8 12 13 so those are very high order in that case partially field will get confined in the fiber so as you increase field sorry as you increase order and for leaky mode very less amount of energy that will get focused in core region so that is what about leaky mode and you will be observing power will be radiated out of fiber due to tunnel effect so in leaky modes power will get radiated out of fiber it will go inside cladding and then it will get out of that fiber because of tunneling effect and this mode will disappear after a few centimeter distance so one should know about this leaky modes even see there are three categories one is lower modes so one can say this is what te0 this is lower mode then after higher modes are there and then there is leaky modes so three categories of modes are there for lower modes field is highly concentrated in center and less towards cladding in higher modes field will be less concentrated at center and more towards cladding and in leaky modes field that will be going out of that fiber because of tunneling effect so power that will get radiated out of that fiber so that is what the case which is happening in leaky mode now what is the condition of propagation so let us try to understand that now see condition of propagation that is based on propagation factor now see if i say propagation factor that is happening in between n2k to n1k in that case propagation will happen if it is not if propagation factor that is out of this n2k to n1k in that case propagation will get failed where k is 2 pi by lambda so as we know n1 that is greater than n2 so if 
propagation factor that is lower than n to k then propagation will not happen so this is what we need to focus about when propagation that is what we are considering for optical fiber modes so beta that should be there in between n to k to n1 k for propagation so this is the basic condition of propagation so when we talk about optical fiber modes so that is what i have drawn here with transverse electric field for t e0 zero times zero crossing is happening with respect to reference for t e1 once it is crossing reference line for t e2 it will cross twice so likewise if t e n is there in that case n times zero crossing that will happen with respect to reference and for lower mode field that will be highly confined at center and less towards cladding for higher modes as you increase number of modes field will decrease at center and it will confine more towards cladding and for leaky modes field power will get radiated out of that fiber so this is how optical fiber modes are there i hope that you have understood this if you have any query you just place that in comment definitely we can have a discussion based on your problems thank you so much for watching this video and you can give your valuable suggestions which is required here on optical fiber thank you so much for watching this video